Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this forget part of my online shopping project. If you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I am going to create or write the code for the admin module. So let's log in here. And here you can see this page is blank. So first we are going to write the codes for the add new product. So let us start. Let's move to the ID here. So we have to add the product. So we need table. So just create the table. So here we have to write the string q2 equals to table. After that we have to write the query create table. And we ha here we have to write the name of table product. After that here we have to write the ID which we are taking at as a int. After that we have to write the name where care. Okay. Where care. And here I am taking it as a 100. Let's say 500. Okay. After name let's go for the category. Category where care. And here we take a 200. Okay. After that we be here we are writing the price and it should be in int. Okay. After that status active or not. So here we are taking where care and here we are taking as a 10. Okay. Uh, okay. We are getting error. So it means that we did. Okay. We forget to write the semi column. After this just copy this line and paste it here. We also need to display in the console. That's why we are doing this. And we are also going to copy this. Okay, here I just need to change to two. So when we run this project, then uh, this will uh, this table will be also created first. So we already in our database this table is already exists. So this will generate exception. In that case, we don't need uh, to create this table. So just this comment this line. Okay. After that, we have to right click on this page and run on server. And just need to click on finish. Uh, this will create our table. Let me move to the console. Okay, we are getting operation not allowed. Okay, create table and table uh, created, I think. Yeah, here you can see table created. So let's check it out database. Our select, uh, okay, let's let me show you the description product. Okay. And here you can see ID, name, category, price, and active. Okay. Now, now let's again move to the add new. Uh, okay. Before moving to add new product, first we need to move to the admin header. Here you can see. And in this, we first we need to write here. Uh, we just need to import this uh, a page at the rate page. Whenever any error occur, in that case, this will send to this page. We already created this page. Error dot JSP. Okay. So we already have the. Uh, okay. Here we forget to write error. Okay. R. Now, now uh, whenever the error occur, it will send response to the, uh, this page. So we already have the page. So let's see that page here. Error dot JSP page. So it will move to this page error and we also need to connect with the login page. So login dot JSP page here. I just write this. Okay. So let's close this and now again move here. No, sorry. Uh, move here and in the login action page, we set session value to the email session value email. Okay. So we are going to retrieve that value here. So let's write here string string email is equals to session dot get attribute. Okay, attribute and in between we have to write email. Okay, and to string in the form of string we are retrieving it. Okay, after this we have to uh, display uh, we don't need to display this I think yeah we don't need to display we are going to use this pay this part of the email in every other pages of related to admin module okay after writing this we also need to connect add new product with uh, this page add new 
product dot gsp page okay so this will be connected with this page now again uh, now move to the admin uh, add new sorry add new product and here we have to import first two line of a code this one for the database connectivity here I'll just paste this after that the first thing is we we need to include in our this page include include is equals uh, include file equals to and here we have to write the admin header dot gsp page we are using this in every page that's why uh, that's why we are uh, added here this page we are using everywhere okay just copy this line of the code and paste it again and here we are going for the footer part of this page so footer dot gsp page this page is already already exist in our here you can see footer dot gsp page in that we written all right reserved for btech days you can say now let's minimize this and let's refresh this page again okay uh, okay we created for the create table just close this and let's refresh this page no we are getting a uh, error let's uh, log in again admin at the email.com after that admin okay let's go for the login okay i got it uh, actually we did not uh, added this two lines in admin home page that's why we are not able to see that so let's go go to the admin home.jsp page and copy these two parts and let's again move here let's refresh this page now here you can see automatically a, a header as well as footer is visible with the welcome admin page and here we have add new product just click on this you can see we move to uh, add new.jsp page here you can see the all this uh, inter name, inter category, inter price, active, and here you can see the logo. Lo sorry, this is uh, just an icon you can say for now. So let's minimize this and let's uh, create a form for add new product as well as a uh, uh, generate product ID here. So let's minimize this and let's again move to the add new product. Okay, and here first uh, we have to leave this part, we have to start with a uh, product ID. Okay, and uh, here we just need to start with this okay and here we have to write the int id is equals to one okay after that we have to write try catch block try catch okay and in this exception p and in this try block we have to write connection con equals to connection provider class this one and dot git con okay after that we have to write the statement st equals to con dot uh, create a statement after that we have to use result set result set rs equals to st dot execute query okay and in between we have to write the query select select max space max and we have to select the max from id okay from product table we just created the product table it will select only the max value like we have already have nine nine id so it will select the nine okay so after that we have to execute the while rs dot next okay and in that case we just need to increase the value by one so id id is equals to rs dot get int we have to get uh, the value in the int format after that uh, we have to just add id is equals to id plus one okay so uh, it will generate the id in case like uh, uh, it does not move to this loop so it automatically have one uh, one value so in this way it will work okay after that uh, we just need to display okay we also need to display in here so just uh, put here out dot print 
ln and in between we have to just need to write the id and put semicolon okay so now it should be display the value so let's rephrase this here you can see id1 is visible now let's put some space in between this okay so now it's looking good and we also need to remove these two messages not to worry about that we will fix this okay after that we have to create the form form and here we just need to write the action action is equals to and uh, here we have to first leave it uh, action part now we are moving to method is equals to should be post okay after that we just copy this form part and delete this and move to the last of this and before body just close this again move to the top of this and uh, we are going to generate action page as the name at new product action okay dot jspp okay so for now just copy this part and create a new jframe in this page so here jsp delete this and paste it here and click on finish so pages also get created delete this and close this for now now again move here and now we have to in display one by one uh, name or values okay so now first thing is which we are going to do is we have to pass the id value from here so for that we have to create one input here so input okay and the type should be hidden let's close this first hidden okay and the value okay first we also need to write the name so name id and the value is this. just copy this part okay from here to here so it will uh, print this uh, id value here after that uh, we have to do we have to input here and uh, this we are taking the name of that product so type is equals to text and the name is equals to here we are going to write the name again okay and in this uh, we have to write the placeholder okay place folder and uh, after that equals okay and here we have to write enter enter name after that we have to write required okay and after that uh, we have to write here we have to add some css in this so i'm just writing class equals to double okay after that here we have to write input style we are uh, i already write the input style okay code css we already have for this so i'm just writing here this okay after that we have to just copy this line of the code uh, here for the category and for the price and for activation we are going to use a combo box so for leave, uh, leave for now and here we just need to text we are going to for and here we have to write category three okay and here we also need to write category okay after that uh, here we have to write uh, number okay and here we have to write the price name price okay and here we have to write price and after that uh, in the combo box uh, here we have to just put some first we are going to write here select and after that we also need to write options option option okay and in select uh, we are also using class input class so just put uh, copy this code after that we have to write the name so name is active okay after that uh, we have to value value is equals to yes okay here we also need to write yes and just copy this line 
and uh, here and here we just need to change no and no okay now now almost our form let's check it out uh, okay for button we did not write the code so first write the code for the button button and just close this after that just copy this line to add the end of this image okay after that in this we have to write the class we are also using the class button for css okay and here we are going to write save and put some space here now our form has been completed so let's refresh this and let's check it out here you can see that our form has been created successfully visible and here we can enter every details okay here you can see a yes or no option now now we have to uh, write the codes when we click on save then uh, it will update our database so let's uh, move to the product action okay add new product action so first two lines should be the same so let's copy it from anywhere login action i'm just copying this two codes two line of the code after that we have to write here string id is equals to request dot get parameter this one and in between we are going to write the id okay after that uh, just copy this line four more time one two three four okay after that we are going to change one by one name and here we also need to write uh, change the name so we are going to copy this okay that could be easy for us also uh, after name the next is category so i'm just uh, copying this category here okay and after category the next is a uh, price so i'm just copying this co uh, name here okay price price okay at last we have a uh, active and here we have to copy this okay and after this we have to use try catch block because we are writing the code uh, for insert database okay and in this exception e and here we have to uh, write connection con equals to here we have to write a connection provider class dot get con okay and in this we just need to write prepared okay i deleted this okay so here we have to write prepared statement ps ps is equals to con dot uh, prepared statement here this one okay after that here we just need to insert write the insert query in doubles okay insert into product values okay and in this we just need to insert four question mark four and the five okay we have you can see three to five okay after that we have to write here ps dot set string the last option we have one and here we have to write id okay after that we have to insert semicolon and just copy this of line of the code four more time one two three and four let's change out the numbering three four and five after that we have to write here one by one as it is as a verb okay we have to follow the sequence otherwise we are also maybe chance that we will get error okay price active after this we have to just write ps dot execute update this one okay after like uh, this will successfully insert uh, in that case we just need to send the response to our first page send uh, response dot send 
not first page in the like add new add new product page and here we just need to write add new product dot jsp with message is equals to done okay and let's copy this and uh, let's copy this line of the code here and let's paste it here okay after that here we just need to write wrong if any error occur in that case okay now let's uh one more thing we forget to write here so here we also need to write the code to display the message according to error so here we have to write uh, first we need to take a string variable msg is equals to request dot get parameter and in this between msg here we are writing if message is done dot equals and here we just need to write message okay in this if and and here we just need to close the bracket okay after that uh, we just need to copy this line of the code and paste it here and delete this line of the code here from here after that we have to just write in sorry we have to write wrong okay and we also need to close this bracket so i'm just copying this okay now it's time to check it our code is completed now let's refresh this part and uh, you can see messages also get removed from here so let's write here sus and the category uh, sus uh, xyz and here I'm just uh, inserting as this shoes okay price I'm making it as 500 okay and let's make active yes okay and here you can see the message product added successfully let's check it out the our database select star from product okay and here you can see the product ID name category price active yes okay so this is all about add new product part of my online shopping project i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you